Hi Capricorn, welcome to your, no, last, what, what, am I, what day, no, first, sorry, these are all pre-recorded, I'm losing track of time, like seriously, um, to your first reading of 2020, right, yeah, and I forgot my glasses between video recordings, so you have to bear with me that I can see everything, okay, Capricorn, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus with me, Cindy. Last one. And first was... First, I'm saying that because this is the last pre-recorded I'm doing for the next two weeks. So for me, it's the last one. And for you, it's the first one for 2020 with me. So Capricorn, let's see what wants to come out for you. I am shuffling the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck. Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Deck. What wants to come out for Capricorn? A shark came out. A shark. Something in the depth. Something deep within that needs to come out. Needs to come to the surface. Something kind of big needs to be exposed here. Something, I, I want to say like on an emotional level because it is a water energy. So something very big, some some sort of, maybe it's um like, like big emotions, big emotions that you have towards something or someone, or emotions that will lead to something big. Whatever this is, it's it's about due time. It was exposed. It feels like with the with this card, that's what it's about. It's something big that needs to be exposed. Something big that needs to come to the surface, and it's starting to. It's starting to come to the surface here. We can see the shark is starting to become visible out of the depths. You can see like it almost looks like that if the shark was in the right kind of. Um, shade of the water here it would be completely hidden so it's not completely hidden anymore it's starting to be exposed and it's because it's time for it to be exposed so for whatever that is for you i can't help look at the pink pink gums on this shark for some reason why these pink gums are really drawing my attention They almost look soft and mushy for some reason. Well, maybe it's a soft, something that's soft and mushy inside you. What is that saying? Ooey gooey, soft and chewy? <laughs> Those kind of feelings, Capricorn? Ooey gooey, soft and chewy? Soft and mushy feelings? I don't know. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> I'm going to pull another card. Well, I'm not pulling it out. Let's see what comes out. What else do we have to add to this story? There's too many cards. Ugh. It's like half a dozen. I can't do it. Okay. One. One card. One card to kind of give us a little more information about this big thing that needs to be exposed. It has something to do with soft and mushy feelings. <laughs> soft and mushy feelings. Okay, get two. I'll take them. You got the buffalo and the otter. Interesting energies. I'm not sure which side these should sit on. Buffalo and the otter. The buffalo is kind of like a tower moment coming in. But this tower moment is coming in to stabilize things is the message I'm getting. And an otter is just the happiest little guy in the deck. So I feel like, oh yeah, look at how these are. <laughs> look at how these energies are facing each other. Look at the shark and the buffalo here. The shark is headed right to the buffalo. And the buffalo stands there like really strong. And in its strength, stable, ready to go. It's earth energy. It's pretty solid. It's not moving. It's fairly immovable. And that little otter is off to the side. This is, I feel like, what comes in after. This is the, it's not even looking at these two. It almost has nothing to do. Like once this has come to the surface, this bit of a tower moment here that the shark is heading head on to Buffalo. And it's going to create a tower moment. And then we have happiness. Happiness, um, just standing tall and upright and proud, not being down in the depths anymore, not having something that's soft and mushy and gushy hidden. 
Ooh, this is interesting. The shark is coming towards the buffalo. The shark is coming towards the buffalo. It feels like whatever is inside you that needs to be exposed. Perhaps it's someone coming towards you, but I feel more like these are your cards. All of these are your cards. This is something that you're working towards, something inside you that's been under the surface for too long. And it's, you know, even though the shark breathes in the water, it almost feels like to me that it's time you came up for air. Like it's time you came up for air and exposed whatever this is. And when it does that, it brings in this tower moment, but this isn't like a typical tower moment for me, this card. It varies depending on the other cards in the deck and the energy that I'm getting with it. Now, this feels more like it's clearing the air. There's a storm that's sort of gonna come in here. The lightning's gonna strike. It's gonna um, put the nitrogen into the ground. You know, there's less, I guess, chemicals and energies in the air and it stabilizes everything. It makes it really stable. Makes you feel much more stable once whatever this is that's inside you that needs to come out. So it's something that I feel like it needs to be said or expressed somehow. And once it's done that, it may feel... I don't think it's going to feel as difficult as you might think it's going to feel. I think the process of doing this, whatever it is, whoever, whatever you need to express something to, I think the process of doing that is probably more stressful than actually doing it and having the result. And then because then this is what comes in after this otter and it's such a happy little guy. Otter has joy in almost every aspect of life so it tells me once this clears, and it's a storm, but it's a tiny storm. It doesn't feel like it's a lot of drama. <coughs> Excuse me. It doesn't feel like it's going to be a lot of drama. Like your world is going to crumble around you. If anything, it feels like it creates stability. Because it is earth energy. It creates stability around you. It's out in the open. It's cleared. It's, it's good now. And then... These, this is still water energy here, right? Like what you came into the reading with, but it was under the surface and it was under there too long. The otter's above the surface. The otter can go in the water, out of the water, all over the place in the water, have a good time, do this, do that, play with his friends. It's a sense of freedom. There we go. It's a sense of freedom that comes after exposing whatever this is inside you. And it may create a bit of a tower moment for you or someone else or a group of people that you need to express something to. I'm feeling compelled to go to the tarot for you. My steampunk tarot here. I want, you know, it wasn't my intention to use the tarot. It was mostly oracle cards this week, but uh, you know, if I'm called to, I'm just grabbing the deck and I'm called to. Why does this feel so difficult? For Capricorn oh wow jeez <laughs> two major arcana <laughs> okay temperance in the Hierophant oh my gosh wow okay I'm getting the message here that you want to progress you want something to start progressing in a very um, open balanced way that leads to a major commitment here a major commitment in something for you something very big could be it could be like a relationship with the Hierophant it could like and it could be a relationship with someone like a friendship maybe taking that to a new level it could be romantic based it does feel soft and gooey whatever these feelings or energies are that you have and temperance is trying to get the balance into it so it can move forward it's almost as if it's not moving forward because you haven't exposed what this is that needs to be exposed. Okay, interesting messages. I'm just looking here at the little details 
I get two out of both these cards. One, I see these two gears that are spinning here with the water that she's balancing and moving. The emotions are flowing evenly and nicely. You know, it's not like this anymore. It's just this nice even. And as that water flows, it brings movement to almost like these two gears or wheels. And it kind of reminds me of the Wheel of Fortune and the Tarot. So finally, maybe this was a block. Whatever you were not releasing or bringing to the surface was serving as a block and what the universe wanted to bring in couldn't be brought in for you and now that's allowing it to, to happen to start to happen and it starts to happen and I, I'm just looking at these two keys the way they cross each other on the carpet and it's like two people coming together with an answer for each other which is kind of nice two people coming together with an answer for one another so this is, I guess it feels, it's fairly major. It's temperance in the Hierophant. It's, it's almost like once this comes to the surface, there's no going back. <laughs> there's no going, going back. The wheels are in motion and then here it goes. So there's no going back. Once it comes to the surface, it's, there's no going back. But I can't help but the way these two energies are looking at each other. The buffalo and the shark, I mean, Wow. Almost looking at each other like taunting. You coming into my area or am I going into yours? You coming into mine? Because you get you plop a buffalo into shark's territory, shark's gonna rip buffalo apart. You plop a shark into buffalo's territory, he's gonna stamp the crap out of that shark. So either one of these in their own element is gonna be the winner. How are you gonna meet? Who's gonna meet who? How are you gonna do this? Like, how am I gonna approach this tower moment. I want to stay in my own element. I think you're going to have to come out of it just a little bit. Just a little bit, at least on the shoreline. <laughs> at least on the shoreline here. Otter is a happy little guy. What kind of happiness comes in with this otter energy after this has happened? Whatever this is, after it's been exposed, what kind of energies come out with this otter energy after this has been exposed? Wow, your energy, bang on, beautiful, perfect, you're, 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 yeah. <laughs> the king of pentacles is what comes in. You're looking fine. Everything is good again. Everything is good in your world. This is exactly where you want to be and who you want to be. This is your dream for you, being a pentacle, right? Like Virgo, Virgo, that was weird. Capricorn, who am I talking to? Capricorn, could be Virgo energy. Maybe that's somebody needed to hear that. But there's going to be balance and stability for you here. This is why you're such a happy little guy. Like you're finally feeling very comfortable in yourself again, comfortable in situations. There's no second guessing. There's no playing games. Now, like the King of Pentacles is in wonderful energy. Wonderful, wonderful energy. And it just feels like being back in your own energy. Really being back in your own energy and being very balanced and moving ahead with plans that you have for yourself. There you go. All right. A couple more Oracle decks. So I'm going to pull something out for you in this one. It has a nice affirmation and it has quite a long little description at the back. <clears throat> for Capricorn, their first reading of 2020. My last of 2019. If that makes any sense. Oh, Garuda. Generosity, spirit warrior, higher love. The affirmation, my warrior spirit, spirit courageously and lovingly protects what matters most to my soul. Well, that's kind of cool. I, you know what I get from that? What is meant for you cannot be taken from you. I really like that. So I'm going to let you look at that picture. And I'm going to read the back. I'm going to try to. You have what it takes to surmount the challenges on your path while growing in love, wisdom, and strength. You can protect others by being an example of how to live from the heart with courage. The divine wishes to bring you a blessing of love, money, abundance, and spiritual growth. There's that energy. Trust and it, trust the brave wisdom within you understands what you need to do to be able to receive these blessings. 
boldly rise above any negativity or fear in those areas in faith that the universe knows what you need and will provide. So if it feels right, go towards it, basically. The universe knows what to provide you. If it feels right, go towards it. That's what faith is for me. Some people think faith is just, well, I don't know. I shouldn't say that. It sounds so terrible. Some people think faith is just going to church and saying a prayer and putting money in the thing. I don't know. <clears throat> I shouldn't say that. It can be for some people. But you don't have to dig deep within to go do that. Okay. The Romance Angel Oracle card that you have is New Love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Oh, maybe that has something to do with Sharky here. Maybe there's some sort of emotions that need to be exposed. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Mm. What a way to start the year, huh? What a way to start the year, Capricorn, by exposing everything. Go for it. Why not? See what happens. What's the worst that can happen? If you say exactly what it is that you're feeling and what you mean and what you want, then there's clarity, right? It's open communication and everybody knows which direction they're going to go in, right? It's good. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, Capricorn. I can't believe I did it. Three weeks of readings done in one week. Wow. That's huge. All right. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, enjoy the rest of your, you know, the early part of the new year. I will see you guys next week. Be gentle with yourselves. Bye.